Ashram of Mashiach Yaucha. That's right, man. Uh, Colossus 317. Yo. Brothers have been standing out here a while, man. Y'all got any questions or anything in your mind that you might want to know concerning uh, it's all about, you know, repentance and coming back to the most high. It's the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob is the forefather of these 12 tribes of Israel right here, man. You understand? That's who he is. Everybody called God, but that's not his name, man. God and the Lord was invented by the Europeans. That's a European invention. And when they put it there, who are they talking about? They're white guys, Caesar Borgia. That's his name. You see? His name is Caesar Borgia. He's down there. There he is over there. You see? That's where everybody got their church and your houses and so forth. You didn't see him before, I know, right? You didn't see the, the white the white image of, of who's supposed to be Jesus Christ in the Bible, but that's a lie, man. That's right. They set themselves up to be him. Read this. No, it's up here. Go ahead. The book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the master, Yahweh giving thanks to the Most High and the Father by him. That's right. So all that we say is going to be in the name of the Lord and Savior. The Hebrew is Baha Shama Mashiach Yahweh Shah. In the name of the Lord and Savior. You understand? And that's how we we please the Most High by going to Him through who the world calls Christ. You see, our people don't know Him. Most people don't know Him, and they definitely don't know the Most High. When you say God, who are you talking about? Think about it. All y'all know God, right? You know, in your own way, though, right? So you gotta be taught Him, man. They ain't teaching Him in the Bible. Preachers, they ain't telling talk about Him, man. He's a man of war. Exodus 15 and 3, man. Just like we warriors. See, He's raising up an army. To prepare ourselves for what's going to go down. It's going to be spiritual. That's right. First and foremost, you see, you can't be here if you ain't spiritual to understand the power that we have. And he's only our power. You understand? But see, we, we didn't follow his rules and regulations, man. That's his laws. That's Y'all know about rules and regulations, right? You got rules and regulations even standing in this park. You can't do certain things. You go out there on the street, you got rules and regulations. How you got to conduct yourself. I don't give a damn if you a gangbang or whatever you're dealing with. You still got rules and regulations, right? That's right. Right? Everybody understand that, so that's what he have, man. And we ain't follow him, so therefore we in the condition that we in. But we coming out of him, and we got next forever and ever and ever. Can't nobody, that's what the Bible talking about. Forever and ever and ever. Can't nobody stop that. They do whatever they want to do, but they can't stop that. Straight up. Everybody had a certain time to rule, man. A certain dispensation of time to rule. And it's our time. That's right. You see? That's why we coming back together, man, as a nation. Y'all ready? That's you really ready? I see y'all, you shaking your head. You, you don't know if you are or not? I know. Huh? You know you ain't. Well, there's some things that you got to, you know, come over and talk to the brothers, man. You come over here and we can help you out. To come out of whatever you're dealing with. You see what I'm saying? Because you're dealing with something, I know. Your spirit's dealing with you. And we can help you get out of that, man. You understand? There ain't nothing that the Most High can't do. Ain't nothing impossible for him. You understand? That's right. What about you, brother? You've been here for, you've been here longer. What about you? Huh? Like you ready? Out. That's, That's right. right, man. You ready? That's Come right. on over here, man. That's Get the right. numbers, man. Get, we we not up here just to talk to you. We, want, we don't know who you are. If you serious, then get, get that numbers, man. We gonna get it. Yeah. Huh? Got it. Say what? Oh, okay. Yeah, so you be ready, man. It's time, man. You ready to? I know you. I heard I'm, you. I'm already with y'all, man. Hey, I'm feeling I'm you, man. Ready. Look, my parents already took the shackles off of me when I was a little boy. Bring it out. There you go. Right. That's right. That's right. God, that's right, brother. Amos right. 7 and 17, man. That's right, man. Hey, our people are sleeping, man. Yeah. They're sleeping, but time is here. But you know, when you sleep, when you sleep, your eyes are closed, right? And what do you see? Darkness, right? And see, that's the problem. Our people are in darkness. In gross darkness, you understand? Gross, and darkness only means ignorant. Yes. Put the uh, the light up. is the laws of the Most High. You want know to see? I, 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 all, that, all those is, can be answered in the Bible. You see what I'm saying? But see, it's not. It's, it hasn't been answered because nobody stood. Y'all won't stand in front of no preacher like Creflo Dollar. All of them ask questions. They won't allow you to do it because they can't give you the answers from the Bible. That's yeah. right. And here we are gonna give you the answers from the Bible. You see what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. It's all here, man. It's our book. It's our book. You understand? This when you see Israel, it's talking about you. You, you, you. That's us. We the sons of the most high. Here's where the Israelites. The book of Amos, chapter 7 and 17. Get uh Proverbs 6:23. Because he asked what's the light. Let's let's answer that question for him. Proverbs 6:23. This the light, man. And whenever you whenever you shining in the light, you can see, right? 
But when you turn that light switch off, what you have? Darkness, right. So this is the light right here. Amos, or Proverbs 6. Proverbs 6 and 23. For the commandment is a lamp. The commandment of the Most High is a lamp, read. And the law is light. And the law is light. You understand? So once you know the law, then you can look at, give me a St. John 14 and 6. See, once he said the law is light, right? That, but that's the laws of the Most High. He gave us over 613 laws. He gave us moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, and ceremonial laws. You see? We get ready to celebrate the New Moon Feast. You ever heard of that? You heard of the New Moon Feast? You heard it too. You Jewish? No, but you heard. How you hear about the New Moon Feast? In your in your hearings, right? You've been up here before, right? You've been up here listening. Yeah, okay, I know. In the spirit, I know. John, St. John uh, 14 and 6. Listen. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 6. Pay attention, brother, because you asked the question. I want to make sure that you understand, right? Yahweh Shah saith unto him, I am the way. So he's the way, right? The truth. He's the truth, right? And the light. That's the light. That's right. right. So my Shekha is the way, the truth, and the light. So what is the truth? Hmm? You don't, you don't, I'm not, okay, you know what the truth is? What's the truth? No, Psalms 119, 142. You know what the truth is? Where is it, the most high? You close? Well, let's read what the truth is. The book of Psalms 119 and 142. Because remember, he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, right? So listen. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. So the law of the Most High is the truth. So the, now, so far, what we got? We got two identities of what? Huh? The light and what else? The truth, right? And what? What are they? What's the answer? Let me read it again. Psalms 119, 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. Right. So the law is the truth. Right? What's the light? What's the light? Uh, get, get Proverbs 6, 23 again. Got to give it to you because it's saying the same thing. You just got to hear it. That's why I say you got to be taught, man. You got to come and let these brothers teach you, man. You know, I'm from Cali, man, but I'm here in North Carolina, man, to bring this edification to you, man. That's right. You understand? Because you got to know, man, it's all about us, man. Read. The book of Proverbs 6 and 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is the light. So you asked about the light. The law is the light. So my Shekhar Shah said, I'm the way, the truth, and the light. So when he walk on the earth, there's nothing but the law and the prophets. There's no New Testament, understand? So all they have is the Old Testament. And they ain't teaching the Old Testament in these churches, you see what I'm saying? They're only dealing with the New Testament. So if they want to come, I can come with just the New Testament because there is no New Testament. You understand? There's only the law and the prophets. That's all they had to go by. So now you got to make it make sense from what? The law and the prophets, because that's all he's standing before you. We stand right here and we go to the New Testament. We got to go to the Old Testament to make it make sense. You understand? Because that's all that they were reading from. When he stood up to read, what did he read? Revelations? How you doing? Did he read Paul's writings when he was in the flesh? Did he, what about Matthew? Mark, Luke? No. They scribing, man. Just like right now, the, the most side got his angels scribing everything that we doing right now. That's when that right. judgment comes, the book's going to be open, and every last one is going to be judged, man, for what you have done in these mortal bodies. You ready for that? That's why, brother, little brother, listen, man, it's very important that you understand since you say you got things that you're dealing with, and that's what we got to deal with, man, because you're the most important. Because you got problems, you understand? Everybody else kind of locked into what they locked in, ready ready to go. But you got some things you're dealing with. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm dealing with you. You understand? Listen. Um, get um, John the first chapter. And the um, third verse. So we understand that the law is what? The law is what? Khan, you right in there, right? Khan yeah. means yes. So you hear me say that? That's what that means. Yes, in Hebrew. Read the book of John, chapter one, verse three. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Yeah, that's that's a mystery too. Everything was made by Hamashiach Yahushua, who the world falsely called Jesus Christ. That's not His name, because the J was invented in 1630 A.D. 
You understand? That's like, 50, like more than 1,500 years after he died and rose on the third day and ascended to the Most High, to the right-hand side of the Most High. That's right. And here it is, who they got now, said Jesus Christ. That cracker right there, man, that white man right there. Caesar Borgia. Bring it out. You see? So read. Everything was made by him through the power of the Most High. Read. And in him was life. In him was life, man. That's why I say I'm the way to show you how to follow the laws of the Most High, which is what, brother? True. That's going to lead to what? Everlasting life. That's right. See what I'm saying? There it is. I mean, you got it. Got to make sense, man. That's right. Read. And the life was the light of men. So his life was the light of men. He came here to show us how we can please the Most High by not sinning, by not committing sins. And you know what sin is? What's sin? Huh? Opposite of the law. That's close. Read on. And the life was the light of men. And the life was the light of men. And you know that light is what? Keep truth and what else? No. The law. The law and the truth. That's all you got to say. The law and the truth, right? The truth is the law. The light is what? The law. You see what I'm saying? So he's the, sh the way to show us how to follow the laws of the Most High. He's an example, right? And in him was the life and the life was the light of men. His life was the light of men, showing us how to follow the Most High, point blank, without sin, read. And the light shineth in darkness. So the light shineth where? In darkness. So remember, the light is shining in darkness. You see? If you're in darkness, you're not in no light. When it get dark out here, you don't, you don't turn on no light, what you in? Darkness, point blank, man. This ain't hard to understand, it's very simple. How you turn the light on? I'm gonna show you that too. Brother, been, brother was going through it. Why? Well, I don't know how long you've been here, but brother was going through it as far as why we in darkness. But you gotta understand why we in darkness now. I do understand why we in darkness and what's going on around me. But mm -hmm. I just don't like when it comes to teachings about there's so many. I've I've dug into so many teachings that I'm kind of lost as to what's really true. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Right. I understand. That's understand. We just understand it. Like a lot of us have been in that that went down that road, you see what I'm saying? But ain't nothing more powerful than this truth, man. That's the laws of the Most High. You know what that is? That's obedience to Him. I don't give a damn what religion or whatever you thought you was look, listening to or, or trying to observe, ain't nothing more powerful than who? Than who? Most High, Khan. You see? So, do you know Him? Can I hand you a Bible and you show me Him? You can. You come up here and show me the Most High in this Bible. I'm not huh? going to pray and try to make it seem like I know right. right, that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. As, as, as someone that's standing in the position that I used to stand in, I humbled myself and I listened to the brothers and I, they taught me. You see what I'm saying? Like, like you're being taught now and that's what it takes, man. It just takes the humility of yourself to listen and have an open mind to really realize that the Most High called you. Why do you think you're standing here? Ain't no coincidence. That's right. It ain't no coincidence that you happen to be here. Most High got you standing there. B. And the light shineth in darkness. The light shining in darkness. And that's who Amashiach Yawashai came on this earth shining in darkness. Hold up. And the darkness comprehended it not. Dark, if you in darkness, you ain't gonna comprehend the light. That's right, you see? So, before we go any further, I wanna get uh, Isaiah 60 and two. If you got a question, what's up? Yeah. Can I turn on the light? Huh? Can I turn on the light? Can you turn on the light? What you go, how you gonna turn on the light? <laughs> uh, that's what I'm asking. You have, a, you have a, a way that you can turn on the light? <laughs> what's your nationality? You're Irish, so that would make you what? Irish, Caucasian? So in the Bible, you would be Edomites. You would be an Edomite, right? So and you've been here before, so you know about probably more than likely who you are. You know what I mean? You know who you are. You just, you coming with that to stop what it is that this brother needs. No, well, but I mean, like an Edomite, is that just like not one of the chosen? No, you're not, you're not one of the chosen. You're not one of the chosen, you know? It's, it is what it is. I mean, we went through what we went through and you got to go through what you got to go through. But how come, Behind. The, how come the transgressions of my ancestors will... I mean, I wasn't... I'm third generation Okay, I know Irish, what you're saying, but 
I didn't come out here to really, I, I want to deal with my brother here, and I'll come back to you. You got the time, but I'm not going to let you take the time from my brother. Oh, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. To, to, to deal with what you're talking about. Get, get Romans 9.13. Get Romans 9.13. Because your forefathers, Esau, point blank, here, here you go right here. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 9 and 13. Right. As it is written. As it is written. So it's written in the Bible, in the Old Testament, like I'm telling y'all. There ain't no New Testament, it's the Old Testament. As it is written in the Old Testament, read. Jacob have I loved. See, Jacob is the forefather of these 12 tribes of Israel. Right, right. Right here. Bring it up. See? We, this is what the most I say he loved. And he don't say he loved nobody else, man. Nobody. Nobody in this Bible. Prove it. Nobody. He said, read it again. Jacob have I loved. He said, Jacob have he loved, who's the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. But Esau have I hated. He said, Esau have I hated. So he hates you. Point blank. Huh? What about? Hey, let me ask you the question. You said, do you, do you have any? Uh, no, no, no. That's one more scripture. Hebrews 12, 16. Because you asked the question about, can you turn on light? You got to remember, the light in America, the light that you had is going to be turned off completely. All right, okay? So no more turn. The light's going to be turned on to all people, not Israelites. You, so-called white folk, all right? Edomites, your light's going to be turned off. All right? Read uh, 12, 16, Hebrews. The book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. That's you. He just proved it. You're the one the Heavenly Father hated. You're the children of Esau that the Lord hate. You're profane. All right. You're abominable. Gone. Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. You sold your birthright for one morsel of meat to well, Jacob. Yeah, I okay. I was, I and was and listen, one morsel of meat, you sold your birthright. So you in your society now, you're in your salvation. So now the Heavenly Father is going to take the light from you. Take your salvation from you. You sold your birthright. Okay? Jacob has it now. Jacob is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. The so-called Negro. Western Asia, Puerto Rico. Go ahead. I finish it. Finish it. Hebrews 12 and 17. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. You're rejected by the Heavenly Father. Okay? By the Most High. You are rejected in all your people. No more light for you. Go on. For he found no place of repentance. You can't even repent. Heavenly Father does not listen to your prayers. He don't care about your prayers. The Heavenly Father hates you. All right? The love now of the Heavenly Father is for the so-called Negro, Western, Haitian, Puerto Rican. Right. You are rejected. Though he sought it carefully with tears. With tears you sought it. It's like you're doing now. That's why you're asking the questions. Any light for me? See, we, we see how you come in spiritually. You're trying to come like a slick devil like you are, but you're rejected. You're like Satan. You're rejected, and you saw it carefully. You're trying to do that now like Esau, okay? But it's not going to work. You are rejected. So that's it with that point blank. You know what I mean? Back to the grind. Y'all, we, it's we here for y'all brothers, man. Get up Isaiah 49 and 5. See? This is all for us. Can we have something without being interrupted by somebody that ain't us? <laughs> now, let me ask y'all brothers one question. Now, if it was all white boys up here, which one of y'all would come up and say, I got a question to you, white boy? You see? None of us. But they think they, think they could just come up and just interrupt what we dealing with. We got to answer them. So I say, come up here. I ain't come here to deal with them. I come That's here right. to deal with you, brothers, That's man. Come right. outside dealing with you. He say, love you, That's man. Right. Bring it out. The hell with everybody else. That's right. right. And that's what the Bible's talking about. He they ain't nothing. I mean, that's what the Bible said. But everybody said, oh, we sold meat. We want everybody to join in. No, this ain't for everybody. Right. You know, this your world, man. This your salvation right here. Look around. <laughs> Down right. at you. Right. What you think? Yo, how you think you got all this? How you think you got all this? By slave labor. That's, that's right. right. Us working for free. Still. Still right now. Making up a nation. Yeah. <laughs> so ain't nothing coming for y'all, man. Except for slavery, captivity, and bondage. We got next. That's right. And y'all got the bottom of the, of the totem pole. But you know something? Listen, listen at this. Lamentations four and seven, man. Read that. I want you I want to say something because all, the first thing they say, I didn't do nothing. It wasn't me that did it. I'm innocent. But listen, it was my ancestors that did it. So listen to our ancestors, what the most I said concerning us and what we're what we dealing with right now. Read. Lamentation 4 and 7. 
Cause this is real, man. Big. Right up to Jeremiah. So, everything in this world has a certain period of time, man, that the Most High allowed to go down. You know? Most High is long suffering, right? Just because they're not expedient, that you don't see us coming, you know, into power as the Most High has written in this Bible through holy men as they were moved by the Holy Spirit, doesn't mean anything, but it's going to happen. Because everything that's in this Bible, every kingdom had a certain period of time to rule, man. That's right. You're talking about the Egyptians. Then the Assyrians, then the Babylonians, and we in captivity under all these nations, you understand? Then like we in captivity now, y'all. Don't get it twisted. The Babylonians, then you had the Persian and Mede Empire, we in, we in captivity. Then you had the Greeks came into power, the so-called white man came into power. Then they changed the name to the Romans, you see? Then we we took over in wickedness, not in righteousness, as the Byzantine Empire. Right. You see what I'm saying? Then they came back in 1453 out of the Caucasus Mountains, as, a, as the um, Ottoman Turks and took with the wars, we was having the holy wars against the Arabs and so forth and started taking us down as we was ruling Europe and all the world, man, you That's see? Right. But it wasn't in righteousness. That's why from 1453 to 1492, which they call the Renaissance period, that's when they came into power again until now. That, this is their salvation right now. You think it ain't? You better look around. What brother on these buildings here? Come on now, what is right, bro? You see on this side, on these buildings that you all this high, high rise skyscrapers and so forth. And you know, all these buildings, who own this? It ain't us. The white man, right? That's why I so say you gotta come to reality. It's gotta be broken down to you like a little child. Right. That you understand this, man. You gotta be like a little child. This ain't no hard, this ain't hard to understand. Just look around you, man. You gotta start paying attention. But you don't know what to look for. You don't know, you go into a book, you don't know what to look for. Because you got to know the truth to be able to just dissect the, the meat from the bones. You see what I'm saying? You can throw, the, you can throw, you can throw away the lies that's been taught. It is in there, right? Huh? Is, it, is everything in there true? What, in the Bible? The Bible that I've been reading. I don't know. You got the King James 611 authorized Bible? That's what that been throughout. Look, I got, I got a Bible right here. I got a couple of Bibles, matter of fact. I know I got this one here. I don't know what this is. The new Catholic version, right? Catholic Bible got all the scriptures in it. They ain't take the scriptures out. The Protestant church took them out. The po Apocrypha and so forth. You understand? But I'm going to show you before I stop what's in this Bible. You're going to be amazed, man. If you say all Bibles, nah, you can't go by all Bibles. We're going by the King James 611 Bible. Our big brother, man. You know what I mean? That was a black man that ruled Scotland and Ireland and England. That's right. But see, we not taught that. We taught that he was a, he was a white man. That's a lie. You see what I'm saying? We, history is his story. When we bring our story out, then he's like, oh no, you can't do that. Why? Because it's contrary to his story. That's right. Read this. The book of Lamentations, chapter 4 and verse 7. You know, we here because he's talking about, well, I didn't do it. Ah, yeah, I'm not the one that did it. My ancestors did it. But what about our ancestors? Listen. Heard Nazarites. No. Lamentations, uh, seven and four. Is it seven. four? Five and seven. Five and seven. Five and seven. Yeah. Lamentations five and seven. Right. Our fathers have sinned. Yeah, our fathers, our forefathers have sinned. Our brothers and sisters on this side, man, our forefathers sinned, right? But we never define sin. You know what sin is. Get uh first, hold that, get first John three and four. So we gotta define sin. So you say our fathers, our forefathers sinned, right? So we don't go to the New Testament and show you what they what the preacher should be telling everybody, but they're not read. First John 3 and 4. Right. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. If you sin, you transgress the laws of the Most High. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law. Now go back to Lamentation 5 and 7 again. Our fathers have sinned. Our, father, our forefathers transgressed the Most High's laws. You understand? Read. And are not. So where are they at? I mean, they're dead. I'm just here because he's talking about, I didn't do it. We easily can say, oh, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. it we didn't do it. Wasn't me. Right. I wasn't Us. back there, Moses. I wasn't me. I'm here in 2016. Right? But our forefathers sinned, read. Right? And are not. And are not here. They broke the laws of the Most High. Right. And they're not here, read. Right? 
and we have borne their iniquity, and we have carried their iniquity. It came on us. See? Now, 422. And you're in the spirit, right? Kind. Lamentations 4 and 22. Listen. This is us. This is for us, man. Listen. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. The punishment of our wickedness, breaking the most high's laws, is what? Accomplished. It's accomplished, brother. Read. Right. Oh, daughter of Zion. And daughter of Zion deal, is dealing with the children of Israel. Remember, you get uh, Isaiah 51 and 16, I believe. Get that, Isaiah 51 and 16. It says, Oh, daughter of Zion. The Bible defines itself, man, through the precepts. That's why we go into these different precepts to show you what it's talking about. That's why you got to come and be taught, man. You can't, you're not going to just read this Bible and understand it. You got to be taught. You understand? Read. Isaiah 51, which one? 51. And 16. And I have put my words in thy mouth. He put his words in our mouth, read. Just like he put his words in Isaiah's mouth, read. And I have covered thee in the shadow of my hand that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundation of the earth and say unto Zion. Say unto who? Zion. Say unto Zion. So you hear Zion, who is Zion? Thou art my people. Thou art my people. Exodus 3 and 10. You see? So he said, thou art my people. So you can say, oh, that's everybody. Anybody can say they're a child of God or they, they're the most highest people. He loves me and he's dealing with me. But who is my people that he's talking about, right? The Bible is specific. Read. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk at the hand of the Ex Most High. Exodus 3 and 10. Exodus 3 and 10. You see? So everybody can say, the Most High is, I love God. He's dealing with me. But everybody come with their own way of how they believe in who it is that they think they're supposed to believe in. Especially if you don't know, you know what I mean? That's why I actually could you, I'll give you a Bible. Can you show me the Most High in this Bible? Most can't. Well, people can't, read. The book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 10. Right. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people. So he said to Moses, come forth, and I'm going to send you to Pharaoh, because we in captivity, man, under Egyptians, some Hamites, the Af so-called Africans, at this time. You understand? We not African. We ain't no African, read. That thou mayest bring forth my people, people? the children of Israel. There it is. That defines who the Most High's children is right there, man. My people, the children of Israel. Now go back to where you was at. Lamentations 4 and 22. What about Galatians 3.28? What about it? Um, I was just wondering about that scripture. <laughs> well, I'm just wondering why you're asking about a scripture when you just said that there's no, no room for repentance for you. You know what I mean? When I, I just told you, and I'm going to tell you again, I'm here to teach the 12 tribes of Israel. Point blank. Read. Lamentations 4 and 22. The punishment of thine iniquity. Don't look, look. Leave him alone, man. Read. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. The punishment of our iniquity, our wickedness, and breaking of both sides' laws is accomplished. Read. O daughter of Zion. O daughter of Zion. The 12, the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. He will no more carry yeah. thee away yeah. into yeah. captivity. Look, man, this is it. This is all she wrote right here, man. I gotta go. This is it. He said he ain't gonna I'm never I'm call I'm us I'm to. No, no, no. We already deal. We dealing with. He's not dealing with what we dealing with here, man. He's out of order. Read. He will read, read it from the beginning because you got that's 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 a scoffer trying to interrupt these brothers that's paying attention, man. To that's the, right. The word of the Most High. Now he, he he's not directing nothing. He gotta wait. If I want to deal with him, I deal with him. That's but y'all important, man. Y'all like I told you who the most right. important you are, brother, because you I'm dealing with something. That's you understand right. what I'm saying? The hell with everybody else, man. That's I'm talking right. not, not y'all, brother. Right. I'm talking about anybody outside of our people, man. Right now, we come to deal with our people. We can't have some time for our people without having to deal with somebody else coming in, involved and stopping what it is that this for you. This for you. You understand? Read. What the hell is that? Lamentations 4 and 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. See, our punishment is accomplished, but we don't know that. Because we're looking at all the things that's happening to us now. Most is the one that's killing us, man. No matter how the death come about, the most high the one that kills. Understand this and overstand this. You understand? Read. 
O daughter of Zion. That's the children of Israel. Our, our punishment is over, man. It's time for something else to happen. And what's going to happen? He will no more carry thee away into captivity. We ain't going into captivity no more. So could it be talking about Jeremiah time? No. Because the brother showed y'all we're going to come over here and slave ship. This Jeremiah, we hadn't come over to slave ship at this time. This talking about us for now. We ain't never going into captivity no more. This is it. Now, Lord, y'all, read. He will visit thine iniquity. He's going to visit the wickedness and the sins of who? O daughter of Edom. He's going to visit the sins of the so-called white man. Straight up. Read. He will discover thy sins. He's going to discover their sins. What they have done. That's contrary to his law, statutes, commandments. Come on, man. I mean, it is what it is. You see? But see, our people have been programmed by religion. Straight up, man. Most of give us no religion. What's your nationality? Huh? What's your nationality? Huh? Haitian? Haitian. Okay, 67. I got 67 right now. Identities of who we are. You would be a Levite. You see the sign up here? Huh? Your neighbor, see, in the spirit, man. In the spirit, I'm like, yeah, you know what I mean? You don't even know that, right? That's the most high, that's the spirit, huh? Wow. That's powerful, ain't it? <laughs> hey, I don't know, yeah, that's, that's the most high, man. Yo, you name your son Levi. And you don't even know about it, huh? Smell the same way and everything. See that? That's what we talk about, man. That's the most high. What about you? Haitian? Oh, all right. What, 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 this brother Haitian. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, it's, it is what it is, man. Coming together, man. Levi. What's your nationality, brother? What do you call yourself? Race? Yeah, you. Uh-huh. What do you think? That's true. Because I know you, yeah. you old enough That's probably to have been called somebody. a whole lot of different nationalities, right? That's Judah. Where, where you at now in 2016? What do you think? What do you, what do you call yourself? Black man. Black man, I got that one. But I, got, I just got 67 different identities of who we are. You know what I mean? I've been counting. You know, because nobody ever said just point blank they're Haitian. You know what I'm saying? That's what common. But you the holy tribe of Levi. You are. And he is. And whoever else out here that's, you know, of the holy tribe of Levi. You see what I'm saying? We the 12 tribes of Israel. You the, you the chosen right. people of the most high. There ain't nobody above you. When you look at the inventions that we invented, Come on, man. Do, do y'all know America just apologized for experimenting with us in the medical field? They apologized for using us as guinea pigs. Y'all know that? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. They, I mean, they use us as guinea pigs, and they apologize for that. Come on. What they want to know, they want to know, because you understand, what do we have that they don't have? Huh? Here you go. What, you, what we got? There it is, melanin and pigment, man. They don't have that. We have that. You see what I'm saying? So, and we the chosen people of the most high. When you understand that, now they looking at us. I mean, like I went to the doctor and said, hey, how did y'all determine this medication? Do white mice, albino mice, or black mice? Which one do you think it is? Y'all look, y'all see it all the time. What is it? Them white ones, right? <laughs> Them white ones. <laughs> Them albinos. <laughs> It's like, we can have them. We can have him. You, you, you can get together with an assistant and have him. Somebody to come out looking like him. He can't, they can't, he can't get to him and his woman and come out and look like us. Unless we was in there back in the day. Somewhere in that lineage, you understand? Can't stop that. It's going to pop through. Because we the chosen people of the both sides, man. We the chosen. You are, you are a Hebrew Israelite, man. Your father was so-called Negro. Yeah, you probably be the tribe of Judah, man. Like these brothers is Levi's. What about you? You are saying Hebrew Israelite, which one are you? You know? Your father. You know your father's father? Or you don't know? Yeah, but it's all right. One thing about it, you claiming. You claiming it, right? You just said it. Everybody, you say, I'm a Hebrew Israelite. And you've been standing on your most of the time this day to realize now who you are, brother. Now it's about changing. It ain't just you calling on, you know, the sad fact that you're a Hebrew Israelite, it's about changing, man. It's all about change, man. Because everybody gonna meet the judgment seat of a man that's coming to make judge and make war, man. I'm gonna shout y'all shot. Get Matthew 10 34, man. See? You understand, man? This ain't this ain't something. Do you fear the most high? 
Y'all fear God? Do they call God? You really do. You think you do. You mean to tell me you you don't think about the most high? You think, oh, I can't do that because the most high gonna get me? Okay. Something you do. That's 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 I see them hands nodding, that's beautiful. You too? Because you know why? I'll tell you why. Read. Matthew 10, 34. 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Mashiach Yahweh said, don't think that I come to send peace on earth. Really? That's right. I came not to send peace, but a sword. You came not to send peace, but a sword, man. A sword, man. Get Romans 10 and 2. See, that's why y'all say, a lot of y'all say y'all fear the most high, right? Y'all say y'all do. But this is why the, book, the Bible says this, read. The book of Romans 10 and 2. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the most high. Y'all have a zeal of the most high. That's why you said knocking your head, yeah. I fear the most high, read, read. But not according to knowledge. But not according to knowledge. Proverbs 1 and 7. So you have a fear of the most high, but not according to knowledge. That's why I can hand you a Bible and say, show me who you're talking about. You fear. And you can't show me, then how is it that you really fear someone that you don't really don't know? We don't know. How do you know him? In your own mind? We know him through these precepts, man, through the Bible. That he said, this is me right here. Listen to what he says. For us to fear the most high, read. Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Most High is the beginning of knowledge. So, y'all say y'all fear the Most High. You got the zeal of the Most High, but not according to what? Knowledge. knowledge, you see? So the fear of the Most High is what? The fear of the Most High is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Yeah. Fools despise wisdom, which is the proper application of knowledge and instruction. You got to be instructed, man. All of us up here was being instructed, you know, or have been instructed under some other man to be able to lead us to where we at now. You understand? You understand? This is what it's about. It ain't about no age, it's about you getting this, man. So that you can make it to the kingdom. We got next forever and ever and ever. Ain't nobody can take that away from us, man. You understand? This the white man going down. And there's prophecy about that. All throughout the Bible. That's why they killed the prophets, man. They prophesied about, hey, the kingdom that we're looking for. We in that generation, man. You in the generation, young brother. To raise yourself up, man.